Hey, what's going on? Matthew Taman here. Listen, I am so excited for today's live sessions. For those of you that have tuned in, you are in for something amazing. We're going to break everything down. You know, I really decided to start doing this live training daily because I get so many emails and messages from people from social media uh, that are just getting started with Joomla and they are confused or they need to, you know, clarity on something. And I get also emails from those that have been using Joomla for some time, but just need that extra clarity, need to customize some things. So these live training sessions are really great. So for those of you that are watching right now, you're definitely going to uh, learn something exciting. And for those that are going to watch this live training um, later on, you can definitely make sure that you sign up on the LearnJoomlaFast.com website. And for the members, this is going to be exclusively for you. You get access to all this content. OK, so let's get started here. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a breakdown. OK, I wanted to do a simple, simple, simple breakdown. Because a lot of times people email me and say, Matthew, I want to launch my online business, but I don't know what software to use. And I've watched your Joomla stuff. What is this Joomla thing? Like, wh how, what can I do with it? Now, I want to give you the simplest form of everything. So before uh, you launch a Joomla website, let's backtrack just a little bit. So what you're looking at right now, this website is a website that was created with Joomla. And there's so many others like it. So what that means is that your website have several different files. A Joomla uh, website has several different files. So before you launch Joomla, before you hire a web designer, before you do all those things, you need to understand what's really happening on the back end. Now, you don't have to be uh, a web developer per se, but I want you to understand what, what you know things look like in, in the back end. So let's take a look here. So first these right now what you're looking at these are all the different files that are part of your joomla installation so joomla is a free software that you use okay you can download it for free by going to joomla.org to get it so when you do get it you're going to get the files that are part of your website now some of this i've added a little more files to it which i'll cover later on but when you get the joomla and you install it it looks something like this so you have a bunch of different files that when everything has been uploaded and installed, and we're going to cover that later on, then you get something that looks like this. But before you get to this look, this is what it looks like. And right now, there's no way for someone to be able to understand what all this means. So the, the, the next step that you need to do before you launch your Joomla website is you need to research uh, web hosting companies and I have a segment that I'm going to be covering later on uh, sometime this week that talks more about the different type of web hosting companies that you need to use so I have a few recommendations for those so now you need to find a web hosting company okay because I've gotten so many emails from people saying Matthew I hosted my website with this company and my website is always down I'm always having some type of problems. I'm having some type of issues. This is not working. That's not working. All this different headache that I'm going through. Can you help me? So I tell them this. It is very vital that you understand that because you have literally tens of thousands of different website files, as you can see here, that make up your Joomla website. If one of them is not configured properly, if there's something there, it can mess up your entire website. OK, so that is why you need to understand that. Uh, a web hosting company that knows Joomla. There are a lot of web hosting companies out there, but most of them don't have an expert in Joomla. In other words, Joomla has its own back end. Okay, this is the Joomla server side back end. In other words, this is where all the files that has images, that has the JavaScripts, the HTML, uh, the CSS, all the tech part of it that you typically wouldn't even mess with. This is where developers come in if they need to make some adjustments, to have to tweak something and on an advanced level. OK, so this is this what you're looking at right now. And this has to do with the security and all those things. So when you find a web hosting company and you've signed up with them, then you're going to get what's called a control panel, a control panel. This is where all the files of your website are being stored. 
So right now, this is a C panel. A C panel is one of the most popular, the number one uh, control panel out there, which is a Linux base. You have the Windows and you have Linux, which are the two primary ways that you can be able to put your files for people to view online. And the reason why you need a web hosting company is because you want for people around the world to be able to access that site. So what a web hosting company does is they they rent this service for you. OK, now you can own a server or you can rent one when you just getting started. I do not recommend owning a server because there is so much that goes into it unless you have the manpower and you have the capital to actually own it i don't recommend for you to do that go that route i've seen people that tried it they had no clue and it just bombed for them okay so 99.9 percent .9 of the times you're going to be leasing a server where you pay a monthly fee now there are different types of service which you're going to cover in a different live training but for the sake of this now once you've given access to or once you've gotten access from your hosting company they are going to give you a control panel access which looks something exactly like this now based on the type of company that you use some, some companies their back end they don't use cpanel they use something else that they've customized but the point of it is you're going to get access to something that allows you to look at your joomla uh, installation so this here it controls more than just joomla your c panel controls way more than just joomla your c panel think of this like as the app store or the google play store where you have a bunch of different apps that if you want to do different things you go to that c panel to get access to it so that's what this is right now your c panel you have subdomain you can add a domain you can do auto responders you can do webalizers most of this you probably never use i really don't use all of these honestly this we have your SSL, TSL, TLS, and other different things here. So your control panel, this is where all your different apps are located. Now the apps are not specific just to Joomla. Joomla has its own app section, which I'm going to cover later on. So right now you have all of this information here. And I know that it can be very, very overwhelming. You look at this, and you go, oh, my goodness, what's going on with all this stuff here? This is where you manage your database. So this is for database. You can create your database. You can do remote MySQL. You can do uh, your PHP, my admin, which I have another training that I'm going to go over the database part of it. But a database is where you store all of your information. So when you do launch your Joomla website, you're going to have everything that's been stored on a database. Now, this database is very vital. If you let the wrong person get access to it, they can completely ruin your site. So you have to be extremely careful as to who you give permission to your cPanel and also your Joomla. So Joomla has its own admin login and your cPanel have its own admin login. So these are two separate admin logins. They're not the same thing then they won't have the same username you can make them that way but uh generally speaking they should have two separate names so this is where you create your email account for your domain name you can create an email account for your joomla website you can check some other things out here but i don't want to overwhelm you with the technicality of all this here because it can be too much especially when you're getting started so for starters you don't have to worry about all a whole bunch of these right now okay because we're going to go through step by step and break everything down but i wanted you to understand uh, a little bit about the back end of what your joomla website goes you know goes through or what goes into it so all of this right here all your files are located with the file manager which is this right here your public underscore the HTML. This has all of your Joomla files. You can delete files. You can upload new files. You can modify things. You can tweak. This is where you have your php.any, your HT access, which we're going to cover later on. So this is where the most important files of your website are located. Now let's go to the back end. Once you've installed your Joomla site, this is what it's going to look like. So this right now is the control panel for the Joomla admin. Now, I know that this can be a little bit confusing, okay? But let me break things down. So there are several admin panels when it comes to Joomla and your web hosting. So your web hosting company is going to create a C panel for you, okay? So that's the first thing, your C panel. Once you get access to your C panel, this is where you're going to upload your Joomla site. 
you can either do that through here or you can upload the files which we'll take a look at later on so once you upload your joomla files then you get a separate joomla admin access so you have your control panel admin and then you have your joomla admin these are two separate things the control panel admin this is where all of your joomla files are located so that is more important because if someone delete if someone delete things from the control panel it is going to automatically delete it from the joomla site um, as well so you want to be, be careful with that so with your control panel this is what a basic one looks like it shows you any updates if you have extensions that need to be updated it's going to show you all that now there are some companies out there that have customized the back end of this they've made changes to how the joomla back end looks which for right now you know you don't have to worry about that but this is what you generally get so once again just a quick review before i move on to the next uh next section here is that you need to understand that this is what your joomla website is going to look like eventually whatever uh whether it's a template which we're going to cover templates later on but you have something on the front end that people can be able to get access to but all this stuff here this is it's made up of a bunch of different files tens of thousands and sometimes hundreds of thousands of little files that you probably have no clue exist but this is what it looks like okay then you have the control panel the control panel if you delete your control panel it is going to automatically delete your joomla website okay so if you for whatever reason terminate your website account with your hosting company all your Joomla stuff is going to go with it because this is the parent. Your C panel is the parent and then the Joomla is the child that is underneath that. Okay. So once you get access to your Joomla site, you get everything that looks like this. And this is where you can be able to get at a glance who's logged into your site, uh, what's going on. So we're going to take a look in depth detail about the system. Okay. The system part of it, this is your control panel, which we're looking at right now at the very top here. If you have any extensions, if you have the uh, latest version of Joomla that needs to be updated, that is going to be right here and it's going to let you know you need to update. You can click to view the updates and then you can pretty much go update whatever needs to get updated from there. So you have your global configuration, you have your global check in, you have your clear cache, you have the clear cache expired, you have your system information. So we're going to go through all this stuff. You have the user menus what this means how to use it i'm going to break each one down you have your menus you can create more menus you have the content your articles your feature your fills now the fills and the fill group is something that's relatively new hasn't always been there you have components you have extensions and you have different things so we're going to go in detail uh what all that means and how you can be able to make use of it